Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to create a normal map for your model which you created in 3ds Max. For this you will use Mapbox. Ok, let's get it started. First, when you created your, your uh, mesh in 3ds Max, make sure that you make a very nice uh, topology. It must be a proper topology with uh, square polygons in about the same size. After that, you have to use the UVW unwrap modifier over here. And you need to unwrap your model. I have done this already. And yeah, here it is. As you can see, it is uh, properly unwrapped. Here is the face. Here is the body, here is part of the arms. And you want to make sure that there is there are no uh, overlapping polygons here. You don't want that in Mudbox. Don't worry to scale up or down or if you have uh, you have to scale up the parts that you actually need to put a little bit more detail. Okay, let's go this one. We have to Save this as a let's call it body one. Yeah, GS Max file. Now save it. Now we export the selection. Export selected. And you have to export it to your Mudbox file, your Mudbox folder, which is uh, by default in my documents, Mudbox data video tutorial file. So I'll put it here and I'll call it body one. And you have to export as object file. Click save. Don't change anything here. Export. So quick. Now it should be ex exported now. So we go now to our Mudbox. I have opened a empty scene. So you go to File, Import. And you will have to find your Go to the, the the folder where you actually saved it, find it. Yeah. And it should come here. Alright. Now we have the model here. It's exactly the same model. You can if you press W you can see the subdivision. You can see the topology, it's not subdivided yet. So basically this is your 3ds Max model. Here on the upper panel, here on the upper left, you can see your uh, unwrapping. Look, all meshes are separated. All uh, different parts of the meshes are separated, no overlapping polygons. We will talk about this panel a, bit, a little bit later, about image browser. Let's go back to 3D. And here, let's uh, see what we have. Here we have some uh, brushes here for uh, Modeling, some modeling tools basically for sculpting. You have to just explore all of them to see what they do. I'm not going to go in details about each of them. And here are the painting tools. Basically, these are the ones that you're going to use the most uh, sculpting tools and the painting tools. Um, yeah, here is the layers. You have sculpting layers, painting layers. We will talk about this a little bit later. When you sculpt layer, you actually, you can you can create new layer, sculpt something, and then you can create another layer, sculpt different part of the mesh, and then whenever you want, if you don't like it, you can just delete it or uh, delete parts of it, or you can uh, blend different um, layers. So it's very handy this one. 
object list. Here is your list with the objects. We have only one object. It's called body one. If you had different, uh, if you had a more complex uh, model here with different um, with sub objects, they would appear over here. Yeah. Okay. So you have to learn how to work with short keys here because it's just the way to work with Mudbox. It's a lot of stuff here, and if you have to go to the menu all the time and find stuff, it's like it's gonna take a lot of time. Okay. Go. Ahead. Let's go ahead and. Um, we will subdivide our mesh pressing Shift and D, which you, you can clearly see how it got uh, subdivided. Yeah. And uh, let's create a new layer here and call it uh, Body Basic. Holding B and left mouse button and going up and down with the mouse will increase or decrease your brush size, your tool size. And then holding M down and doing the same with the left mouse button will increase or decrease the strength of your tool. I will actually have to subdivide once more. So I'll just press Shift D again. And then I'll have to create a new layer. Here, down in the right, you can see your number of polygons, which now we have um, 15,316. Um, and then the active uh, subdivision is number two. Basically, the higher subdivision level, the higher the number of polygons you have here. And then if, I, if you go, you can go up and down, uh, throughout these um, levels here by pressing page up and page down. Let's say we press here. We press now. I press now. I'm pressing page down, and you see that actually I'm going back to the original mesh subdividing. Okay, we go back to active number two, and now this one um, that layer here is now locked because. It says that it's level one uh, of, sub, of number one of subdivision, and then we are now in number two of subdivision. So this one is locked. If you want to work on it, you have to go back to number one subdivision, and then this one will be unlocked, so you can work on it. I'm taking this tool now called Wax, and let's use something a bit smaller. And I want to put some details here over the chest, but something very important we forgot to say: uh, mirror function. You go to mirror X, so everything you draw here will actually appear symmetrically on uh, both of the sides. And it's also important that in 3ds Max you set up your pivot point centered to your mesh. Something like this. Let's put some more on the shoulder. It has to be very roughly, you don't have to worry about this because after that you are going to smooth down all these rough edges that appear right now. But you will have to create you will have to create it like this. Let's put a little bit more here because these are like some muscles. Right. More muscles on the back, something like this. Doesn't matter which side you scope, it is it, the same the same scope you always go on the other side as well. You create some basic uh, abdominal muscles right here. Yeah. Something like this. And here is maybe a little bit for the ribs. Let's try to do something. This is like 
again very basic. So let's say we are happy with uh, what we have here right now, and we want to subdivide once more, pressing again Shift D. And now again we have uh, now, um, we have a new level of uh, subdivision here, which is uh, number three, and the number of polygons increased up to six thousand, which is like double the number of polygons we had already. And those two layers are of course locked, so we have to create a new layer and call it body, I'll just call it body 3, because the level is 3, so it's easier to remember. We have to go down to level 2, just to show you something. Now we are on active level 2. Yeah, and if you press here, You can uh, you can hide the uh, the level of um, sculpting you created, or you can blend. See, yeah, we we'll leave it like this, hundred percent. Go back to this one, and go back to pressing page up. We'll go back to our highest level. Let's uh, continue in the next, finish this video here and we'll continue in the next part. Thanks for watching.